Hi, Intune friends. In this video, I'm going to show some ways how you can deploy web extension, well, web browser extension. So for Edge, we're going to be using Intune, how to push uh, Edge uh, web extension. And for Google Chrome, we're going to use my favorite tool that's free from Google. I have a video how to set up that, totally free, very useful. So let's start to look at one extension, one of my favorite one. It's called Square X, Be Secure Anonymous Private Online. It's basically you get an extra tab and as it says here, disposal browser. So you can use that, copy your links that you're not sure about, maybe some that you got from spam or you're unsure. You post it there and run it and you can even create the temporary email address and you can look some extension. You basically run a Google Chrome browser on a virtual Linux in a hosted environment. So it's far away from your machine. So let's uh, look a bit at this one first. So I'm gonna add it on my machine here. So it can read some, uh, change all data and website, manage your downloads because you, we're gonna download um, files from here too. But first we're gonna uh, look that the file is safe. So let's add this extension. So it's been added. I'm just going to pin it. So we can pin it already with settings if we use the Google admin. We'll go and see that later. OK, so we have it here. It's going to give uh, some guides. Uh, nice to look at, but uh, I know a bit how to use this one. So yeah, let's get started. So need to log in. Well, uh, let's sign in with uh, Google email. So perfect, we're in. And I mean, you don't have to use that more than that. You can just go around and do your normal business, close this. Maybe for example, uh, I check my email and here I have a few. I don't actually know what it is. Let's hope there's a link. Voyage Lucia. Oh, here, Voyage. Wow, 50 reserve here. Well, let's say, I'm interested in this, but I don't trust this link, especially not since it's in the spam. So I'm just gonna right click and copy the link address. And here comes to play the square eggs. So I click here and I'm gonna start a server, um, a browser, and I have different locations to choose from. So I can go from Australia, Brazil, Canada, Germany, France, UK, Singapore, US East. So New York West um, would be, um, Los Angeles or uh, Seattle or something. So this could be nice if you are in a location where a website is blocked, you can also you go this to go around it without needing to set up a VPN. I'm gonna go with France this time because, um, well, this site even is in France, French. So I start this one. So you see here, now it says loading a disposal browser. It's gonna be a Chrome, a very locked down version. So we can see here that it's definitely in France. So let me, we can allow clipboard because I want to paste the URL. So here I paste this uh, from the email. So, well, the page doesn't even exist. So probably it was, or it was limited offer. So the page maybe does exist. It does exist. So it was probably a legit email this time, but who knows? So if you have a link from an email or anywhere, you can, Copy that, be sure not run it on your machine, and then run it here safely. If something is bad, you can just close the tab. That's totally fine. And you can start a new one when you need it. So we can just quickly start a new one by clicking here and then choose maybe Australia this time and click start. And of course you could look, it's not made for that, but I mean, imagine there is an Australian TV show that's blocked on IP. Well, you definitely could look at here. Just keep in mind though, that you're limited to 10 minutes. When that goes down, I think it's a bit two minutes before it's gonna re-ask so you can get more time. And you see the speed, yeah, it's a very quick one. It's quicker than your own most likely. And so that's one user case to look uh, links. And there is another user case. It is, imagine we want to see this uh, PDF file, but I don't want to run it on my system. It could be malware. So we can copy this link, do a control A, control C, go back here. Important that you paste it in this uh, URL here. 
and not up here. Uh, and let's say we download it here. Uh, let's say we download this uh, sample file. Funny, it says your internet connection is unstable. Uh, hardly, th hardly think so. So let's say we uh, we download this file, and now it's opening automatically in the, the next tool, which is uh, this uh, disposal. Uh, file viewer so now we can read the file so if it was a malware well doesn't really matter it's uh, on uh, this uh, virtual uh, server here so we can read the pdf and if it's a really a pdf that we want sure then we can download it so if it's a really a file we want to download we i can click here and then it's actually downloading to my my phone to my uh, computer so you see here, here it's open up on my own machine, not in this virtual one. Same if you want to upload one from your own machine, you can go here. So now we are actually looking at my GBM, my machine. So really like this feature. I use it a lot. So very good tool. There is another feature which I like. It's this uh, disposal uh, email. You know when you have... a. Uh, they, you have to sign up for a web page or something before to download something that you will never want to do again. Well, you can just give copy, give this email address, which is here for a very short time, and you can still get email to it. So if the page says, hey, you need to verify, you're going to see the email here and you can open and click and then and uh, validate. And then after a while, this one goes away. If you don't like the name, free the cookies, pretty funny name. You can just regenerate. It's have a lot of different uh, delivery author, a lot of uh, names. You can even edit if you want and choose one if you have. So I could be typing squirrel and GBN, see if that one is um, free. It is, perfect. So now if I email this address, well, let, let me do that from my own email. Compose and GBM Squirrel, uh, please validate your email before download this cool Intune PDF. That's also going to be and send. So now I email that one. And if we go to our inbox here, I can refresh it. And there it is, I even get a pop-up. So here, if it was an email, hey, click on this link to validate, I could definitely do that. There are some other features that I don't use so much, but could be maybe useful for you. There are some smart integrations to detection, online threats and such. I really prefer these three top ones, but uh, feel free to use that, it's a good one too. So really good. Um, um, web extension. So how do we deploy this? Now we come to the second part. Well, we will need this ID here. So each uh, extension have a unique ID. So we can copy this one because we're going to need it. So let's start by going in uh, Google. So here in this tool, so you go admin.google.com, log in with your account, the one we have created in the previous video. If you haven't done that, please do so. Again, it's free. So we can go under browsers and then we have app and extensions. And then we created the um, OU. So if we only want these uh, extensions for technology, uh, for this one, I'm going to give it to all managed browsers. And it's in um, uh, Chrome Web Store. So we just click on plus here and we can add from Chrome Web Store. And then view apply by ID. Well, we have the ID. Here it is. So we select this one. So square X and whatever you uh, want to um, uh, deploy. Well, you just go to the web store and then uh, apply this ID. Then we can add some, I'm going to keep the default, but we could add some more uh, data, but th this looks good to me. 
totally for allow install, just allow install. Nothing will happen here. We actually want it to be either force install or force install and pin to browser toolbar. So before we save here, I just want to go to the client that I have to show that it's not already there. Okay, let's start Chrome. Because once I hit save in the console, it's going to go very quick for it to deploy it. So you see this one already have a last pass, but no other. Those are, and we can see here also that we are managed by John Brent's cloud. So if we go extension, manage extension, LastPass is the only one we have. So now let's hit save on this one. So it's saved and all our clients, if we look manage browsers, if we take all browsers, I think I only three. Yes, the one we are on is in the validation OU. Uh, I think it's under technology, but since we applied it here, this one should inherit. So if we go app and extension, yes. If we go validation, it says uh, version and pin not pin. Yeah, pin uh, to browser toolbar. So let's see if we go to the virtual machine. Look what's come up here. Very quick, Square X is already installed. So very quickly that got installed. And uh, there it is. Let's look uh, Edge. Edge, if we look uh, extensions as well, manage extensions. Well, it doesn't seem to be uh, any extensions. If we just uh, look extensions, uh, square X, just be interested to see if they have the same uh, same code. It's not the same code. This is the one we want and this is the ID. So now we go, now I leave the virtual device. You see no extensions installed on this device. Now we're going to do the uh, extension installation with help of Intune. So where can we do that? Well, we go to intune.microsoft.com. We go to devices. Under devices, we don't have, we could go directly to configuration. I prefer go to Windows first because then when you click on configuration profiles, you only get Windows one, but definitely not needed. So from previous videos, we have a few here. Let's create a new one. Let's create a new policy, uh, select platform. Let's do Windows 10 and later, of course, and let's do um, templates. And under templates, we have administrative templates. You can add your own, but since Edge is by Microsoft, uh, what we have is already there. Let's do Edge extension, extension um, square X inst installation. And I like that it can be description as well. Then let's hit next. And here we could search, but you see Microsoft Edge seems to be right here. And it happened to be one just call extension. Let's take that one. I'm just gonna expand here a bit. So control which extensions are installed silently. Perfect, that's what we want. So you can read a bit what it's doing here, but basically down here, we just need to enable it and then add the IDs. So I'm just going to add, oh, I thought I had that. I'm going to do my Windows V because uh, I have it here. And here is the um, ID. And we could install a lot of more extensions. Mm, should we? Well, one is enough now, but you could add uh, multiple. Let's click OK here. Let's go next. Uh, we don't care about scope tags. Assigned. Um, well, I'm gonna do add a group this time. Let's do all GBN Windows devices. There's no reason to target others. They wouldn't get it anyway, but Windows devices, I have four apparently. 
Let's go next and create. This is going to take a bit longer time than for the um, uh, Google one, because uh, here it will need to first create the configuration profile and then also apply it. it means the client needs to check in. So I'll do a little pause here and come back once this have applied. So I got a success, but I see now I probably added the wrong one. Let me just, so here is another ID or actually it is the same. I don't know why I pasted another one. So it should start with AG and I don't know why I have this one here. So I'll just save this one over here and hopefully that's a good one. Um, example value. I think I should be fine there and not need to put HTTP edge store base. So let's see here. Uh, no, I definitely want to save this. Oh, okay, down here. Save. And repush. Okay, when I put the right ID, it worked. Look what's here. Uh, it's not pinned though. So yeah. It is installed, but yeah, I would need to pin it if I wanted it easy access. So if we look uh, under our extensions, well, here it is. Yep, it's here now. And you can see I can't even uh, remove it. It's been uh, um, forced deployed. So only deploy extension that no one uh, can, that you don't want anyone to remove. So if we click on this one here, extensions, here we see this one. Uh, let's say you show in toolbar. So here we got the same, of course we need uh, to log in and all that, but the, the extension push worked. So excellent. That worked very well. And if we look here where we already had the success, but now we changed the time also. So the update have been taken also. So to summarize this video, we have deployed a web extension called SquareX, but it could be anyone. You do it by ID with help of Intune for Edge and with the Google Admin for Google Chrome. Thank you very much. Have a great day.